What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a raw set on my daughter's natural hair. I'm using the Lotta Body Twist Me Curl Style Pudding. I like the consistency and I'm also using the Lotta Body Shape Me Custard Jelly. So I love this line so far so good when it comes to using them on my natural hair and on my daughter's natural hair. So I want to work that product in. Now I'm going to tell y'all I will be moving her head a certain way because she's trying to watch sheen hauls while i'm doing her hair but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and section her hair into four to five sections <music> Now that I have her hair sectioned off into smaller sections, I'm about to add more product just to prepare her hair for the rod set, for the perm rod set. So I am using the Lotta Body Leave-In Conditioner and now I'm about to use the Lotta Body Foaming Mousse. I love how this works on her natural hair and I use it on my natural hair as well. So I'm about to start my rods in the back. I personally have more control when I start my rods in the back plus I like to do a brick lay pattern when I ride natural hair so as you can see I'm not using a big section just a small section because when you have thick natural hair you want to use smaller sections if you want a more de um, defined curl so when I ride hair I like to shift it at a 45 degree angle like shift it slightly you can see right here I'm shifting the hair slightly and then when I rod the hair I rod it on base so I don't want my rods to be loose I want it to be on base I don't want it to be too tight but I want to make sure that it is secure so once again I'm adding my product I am going to slightly shift the hair as you can see it's not sticking straight out at a 90 degree angle I'm um, um, sh uh, slightly shifting the hair and now I'm riding it on base now I'm going to transition into orange rods because her hair is starting to get longer as I work my way to the front you will notice a lot of times when you rod your hair you may have to use a couple of different sizes when it comes to the rods because you want your rod to make sure that it goes with the length of your hair so as you can see I am doing the brick lay pattern I am making sure that when I I unravel her rods you don't see a lot of scabs so I'm going to slightly shift make sure that I ride on base and I'm making sure that I put that rod right in that space so you don't see a lot of scalp now when it comes to riding natural hair or just riding any hair you want to make sure that you um, get a rod that is going to match your pardon especially if you are using perm rods so for example the orange rods are about one inch I will say one inch and when you use one inch rods you don't want to ride a big section now if you have flexi rods that's a different story you can use a huge section when you are using flexi rods but with perm rods it's slightly different
I'm working my way towards the front. I'm thinking about how I want the rods to lay, how I want them to fall, because you want to make sure that you rod your hair in that direction. So for example, if you want your rods to, well, if you want your style to have a little, a little hair in the front, then you want to make sure that you rod your hair in a certain way that will allow your hair to fall in the front. So always keep that in mind. Be mindful how you want your hair to fall. So for her, I'm not going to give her a head full of curls. I am going to do a mohawk style just so she could play around with it and also when it comes to a rod set you can keep it up for about two weeks two weeks is pushing it but you can stretch it out to two weeks now i always tell my clients because i do hair on the side i freelance i tell my clients that when you when I pretty much get done with your hair, make sure that you use a bonnet to keep your hair up. Make sure you use products that's not going to weigh your curls down and just style it. When you are done with your rods, girl, you can do so many different styles with it and just make it look good and keep it up. Yes, I finally got the back done. Again, y'all, this child wants to watch Sheen Halls while I'm doing her hair. She wants to be on YouTube watching Sheen Halls. As you can see, I'm trying my best to hold her head still. And she know her mama filming a YouTube video. <laughs> but anyway, uh, when it comes to your rod set, you also want to be mindful of the end. So as you can see, I'm not using any wrapping paper, but if you need to use them, especially if your hair is extremely frizzy, now you can get away with it when it comes to natural hair, but you know your hair. If you need to use those end papers, use them because you want to make sure that the ends are smooth. If the ends are not smooth, girl, the whole rod set would be thrown off. Also, if you need a trim, and you want your rod set to look good, go ahead and get a trim if you need one. But when it comes to um, the ends, you want to make sure that it looks good. So I am done with her hair. I didn't use any end paper, any uh, wrapping paper, paper, as you can see, but it still look good. It's tight. I'm putting her underneath this dryer. Y'all, I had to let her sit up under here for about... I would say for about two and a half hours so it can dry. She will be reading a book. This is so cute. She loved reading and this little baby looked like she got a rod set. But yes, I told her no tablet. Read. Okay. Read, read, read. But again, yes, she was underneath the dryer for about two and a half hours because you do not want to take your rods down if they're not dry now i'm using the gisu oil i got this from sephora it's honey infused oil i love it i am about to unravel her um, rods now now i am going to be working quickly y'all because 
I am a full-time mompreneur. I am learning how to make hair tutorials with my kids at home. I'm learning how to just make this whole mompreneur, YouTubepreneur thing work. This is all new to me. I'm on winter break. Well, my kids are on winter break and um they all over the place if you're new to my channel i have six children right now four are in the living room with me um a set of twins of course tori she's the one um um that's in the chair and i have a six-year-old so girl i pretty much have triplets <laughs> And my son is in the back he plays so much so yes i'm working quickly now i do want you guys to see that the rods um it took i have a tight curl i am going to separate the curls and make sure that they're full and tori can play around with them beautiful i wanted to give her a style just so she can see that she got options options outside of a ponytail but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i will see you on the next charday tv film bye